This is a brief, simple tutorial on the setup process for the Worldwide Express version of Inisher Technologies LTL Freight Quotes app for Shopify. At the conclusion of the tutorial will be a brief demonstration of LTL Freight Quotes being presented on the Shopify checkout page. This video will touch on the most basic steps required to have LTL Freight Quotes presented during checkout. It is not a substitute for the user guide, which is located on the documentation tab of the product information page at Inature.com. Refer to the user's guide to take full advantage of the app's extensive capabilities. Begin by installing the app to your store. Navigate to Settings and select App and Sales Channels. Click the button for the Shopify App Store. Search for WWE LTL Freight Quotes. Once you've located the app, click the Install button. Use the installation wizard to advance through the installation process. Next, add the app to your shipping zones. Using the Shopify admin menu, navigate to Settings and choose Shipping and Delivery. Edit the general shipping profile or any profile to which you want to add the app. Scroll down to the shipping zones and click the Add Rate button. Select the option for Use Carrier or App to calculate rates. Select the Worldwide Express LTL Freight Quotes app from the list. Make sure all of the checkboxes on this page are enabling before clicking the Done button. Click the Save button at the top right hand corner of your browser window and then exit back to the Shopify admin menu. Now we'll configure the app. Use the Shopify admin menu to navigate to apps and choose WWE LTL Freight Quotes from the list. The plans page presents the subscriptions that are available. The most popular subscription is the standard plan, which includes a feature to automatically detect the address type. Detecting residential addresses is very important for LTL Freight because the fees associated with it are significant. Choose the plan that best suits your needs. Afterwards, click on the Connection Settings tab. In the field Which API Will You Connect To, choose the Legacy API or the New API, depending upon the migration status of your account. The Legacy API will require an authentication key, while the New API will require a client secret and client ID. Instructions on how to get these credentials are included in the app's user's guide. Enter your credentials and click the Save Settings button. Afterward, click the Test Connection button. You should see an alert at the bottom of the screen informing you that the connection was successful. If you don't, you need to rectify this before continuing. Now click on the Carriers tab. The Carriers tab is where you'll inform the app what results from Worldwide Express you want to consider. To take full advantage of the capabilities of a 3PL like Worldwide Express, we recommend enabling all of the carriers on this page. However, if there are certain carriers that you simply don't want to do business with because of prior experiences, this is where you would disable them. After making your selections, scroll to the bottom of the page and click the Save Settings button. Now click on the Warehouses tab. The app supports a couple of different concepts for shipping origins. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to add a warehouse. Click on the Add button and give your warehouse a nickname. Enter the warehouse zip code. The city and state should pre-populate, but you can manually override this if needed. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click the Save Settings button. Next, click on the Quote Settings tab. The Quote Settings govern the behavior of the app. There are a lot of options here, and you're going to want to return to this page with the user's guide in hand to explore the options and take advantage of the extensive capabilities of the app. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to keep it pretty simple. In the Rating Method field, choose the option for Cheapest Options, and select 2 for the number of options. Scroll to the LiftGate settings. Enable Offer LiftGate Delivery as an option. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save Settings. Now we're ready to enter the shipping parameters for a product. Using the Shopify admin menu, click Products and select a product from the product catalog. 
Click the More Actions button at the top right hand corner of your screen and select the Worldwide Express LTL Freight Quotes app from the list. What you see on this page will depend on what integer technology apps you have installed. For the purpose of our tutorial, we're going to enable the setting for quotas and LTL shipment, enter a weight, and select a freight class. If you don't know the freight class of your product, start with 50. You can always return to this page and correct it later. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click Save and Return. Now we're ready to see if the app will return LTL freight quotes on the Shopify checkout page. At the top of the page, click the button for View. Add the product to the cart. and then advance to checkout. After entering a valid ship to address, Worldwide Express will return options for LTL freight. Recall that on the quote settings page, we ask for the two cheapest options to be returned and then also options for liftgate delivery. In this case, Worldwide Express gave us options for AAA Cooper and XPO Logistics. And then for the liftgate options, AAA Cooper was returned and RNL carriers. This concludes the setup tutorial for the Worldwide Express LTL Freight Quotes app for Shopify and a brief demonstration of LTL Freight Quotes being quoted on the Shopify checkout page.